Hey, what's up, guys? It's Wednesday morning. Uh, I'm just sitting here drinking my morning coffee. And uh, I was just feeling kind of bummed out today. It's been a really straight-up shitty week for me. So I thought I would do something a little bit different. Since I haven't gotten any interesting mail lately, I thought I'd read uh, some of my old poems um, that I wrote. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. It's call I call it A Non-Creepy Poem for Jory Karen. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one I actually sent to him, and he said he liked it, so at least I hope he liked it. Anyway, um, it's, it's a nice, it's a fun poem. It's not a one that I wrote on one of those cold, lonely nights. You know, like certain other people who will remain nameless and who better stay out of my YouTube account. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> anyway, um, Jory Karen, you're so much fun. You're sweet and funny and know when to run. When the microwave is turned on and you hit that button, then run out and hide behind the shield as if it was nothing. Your funny jokes, your winning smile, always make me laugh, even if only for a little while. I know I'm nowhere near you, and meeting you is slim to none. But should our paths ever cross, I'm sure it would be fun. I don't mean anything dirty, so please don't think I'm a freak. To just shake your hand and perhaps a hug would surely make my week. I hope you know I love you, even though at times it's risky. What better way to end this poem than with a giant orange hibiscus? Yee, cheesiest poem ever. Uh, let me see. What other cheesy-ass fucking poems do I have in here? Most of my other poems are, like, really sad, pathetic poems. Uh, I think I'll go with one of these. This is one I wrote for one of my, one of my other, another friend of mine. It's called, I Can See It In Your Eyes. I can tell there's something wrong. I can't quite tell why. You're just not quite all there. It makes me want to cry. I can see it in your eyes. I can see it on your face. That horrific look of worry. A look of saddening disgrace. I wish that you'd talk to me and explain to me this pain. Allow me to comfort you and then your trust I'll gain. You assure me that you're fine. You say everything is okay. I just can't shake this feeling that your life's in disarray. When I see that look of sadness on your face, it's like looking in a mirror. It's something we bo we'd both like to erase. I wish that we could help each other by comforting and confessing what is truly bugging us and not keep each other guessing. I hope you know how much you mean to me. You are such an awesome guy. To feel your arms around me makes me constantly want to try. I really want to help you. You can trust me with this mission. If you ever need to talk, I'll always be there to listen. That's one of my other poems. You know, Like I said, most of my poems are pretty much all like that. Um, I'm going to see if I can try to find a couple more that aren't quite so uh, lovey-dovey. Let me try this one. This one I call I'm Done. You have no idea the pain that I'm going through. The hurt, the disappointment, it all seems to come through. I just can't stop the tears. I can't stop feeling bad. My emotions run so rampant and make me very sad. I'm sad and all alone and no one seems to care. Since the death of my mom, I'm constantly really scared. She took her own life with many pills. She wanted to die. Even though it hurt so many and made all of us cry. Since I am her daughter, I feel like I'm insane. Should I go down that path too and stop this aching pain? I know I'd never do it. I haven't been driven that far. Don't think I haven't thought it. My heart has many scars. I don't have many friends or anyone to talk to, except the few on Facebook. And to all of you, I say thank you. Everything is just so shitty. I'm really very sad. I'm hurt and really frustrated and also kind of mad. No matter how I try to do things that are right, I always find a way to screw it up and seem to start a fight. Be it co-workers, guys, or those I went to high school with, I feel like I failed you all. I've got nothing to offer 
No one to pick me up when I fall. All I hear is drama queen, suck it up you big baby. This tactic really doesn't help and makes me feel quite shabby. I know that I'm not perfect. I know I'm not the one. I don't know what else to say except that I am done. Yeah, I wrote that one a while ago. Um, February. Apparently February of this year was when I wrote that one about my mom. Uh, let's see, what else do I got here? Oh, is this another one I wrote about Jory? Yeah. This is another one I wrote about Jory, Karen. Um, it's called So Nervous. Because I'm like a retarded moron when it comes to that. I'm actually going to have to edit it because I wrote this poem like five months ago. So um, it's, it's going to be a little dated, so I'm going to change it real quick. Okay. I can't believe it's happening. My dream is coming true. I'm finally going to get a chance to meet you-know-who. Even though it's a month away, even though it seems dumb, I can't help but feel restless, anxious, and like my heart is numb. He told me not to be and that I have nothing to be afraid of. I want so much to believe him, but my heart cries like a dove. I've had so many ask me why over and over again. Why are you so nervous? He's a great guy, a great friend. I have so many fears that he won't care for me. Even though I'm a hardcore fan, I'm scared he'd avoid me. I know I'm not a perfect 10. I know I'm not that young. I'm not even that attractive, though I am a lot of fun. I've sent him many things, some silly and quite carefree. But it just makes me worry more and think, what does he think of me? I know he doesn't think I'm a stalker. I haven't given that impression. I mean, sure, I have proposed, but that's not my destination. I just love him unconditionally and will be fully crushed like a bug. Should he ignore me and hurtfully sweep me under the rug? A friendly smile is all I ask. A hug would be so nice. It would ease my anxiety and help to melt the ice. I really hope this is the case and everything works out for the best. For I love you, Jory Karen. You're not like all the rest. And, uh, yeah. I think that should give you guys enough to chew on. Um, this has been Janet LaCava Reads Poetry and Shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. But anyways, um, I write new poetry all the time. So, um... I may try to start reading more of it on here because I think when I read my poetry it kind of makes me feel better, you know, and if you guys want to comment below and let me know what you think of any of the particular poems, um, that would be totally awesome. Um, a lot of these poems are posted on my Facebook, if you're my Facebook friends, if you actually want to look at the poems. Some of them are not. Some of them are, um, are newer poems that I've written that I haven't put up on Facebook. But anyway, take it easy. Oh, shit. I almost forgot about my coffee. I got so into reading my fucking poems, I almost forgot about my fucking coffee. Coffee is important. Ah, mm, sweet mocha refic. Anyway, have a great one, guys. Cheers.